Hello everyone, welcome to learn Flutter for beginners series. In this video, I will show how you can install Flutter on Windows 10 or 11 operating system. By the end of this video, you will have Flutter installed on your system with VS Code and Android Studio as code editor and you will be ready to build your own Flutter applications. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I will open a browser window and search for Flutter. Then click on the Flutter dev link. On this page, just click on get started. And click on Windows as we will be installing Flutter on Windows OS. Here you can see the system requirements. As I am installing it on Windows 11, we already satisfy most of them. I just have to install Git for Windows. If you have Git already installed on your system, you can skip ahead. So let me just click on git for windows and now i'll click on 64 bit git for windows click on keep and it will start downloading let me minimize the window git has been downloaded on my desktop i will quickly install it click on yes and then click on next just continue to click on next with the default values until you reach install and then click on install. So Git will start installing. Once the installation is finished, just uncheck the view release notes and click on finish. Now click on the start menu and type in cmd and press enter. Then type in git and press enter. As you can see git has been installed successfully. Let me close the window and go back to the Flutter installation page. Next we will download the Flutter Windows stable zip file. This is quite a large file so it might take some time depending on your internet speed. So the download is finished. Let me minimize the window. As you can see the zip file has been downloaded on my desktop. Now we will create a folder where we want to unzip this file. So let me click on C drive and create a folder. I will name it to source in short src. Inside this folder I will create another folder. I will name it to flutter. Here we will extract the zip file we just downloaded. So let me select the folder. And click on extract. This will take some time. I will fast forward. Then I will go inside this folder and then click on bin and then I will copy the path. Let me close this window and type in env then click on edit the system environment variables. Make sure you are on the advanced tab and then click on environment variables. Here in the user variables section just click on path and then click on edit then click on new and paste the path we copied earlier. Click on OK, OK and OK. Now we'll click on the start menu and open the command prompt. And then type in flutter doctor and press enter. As you can see Flutter has been detected but there are some other issues we need to fix. So let's go back to the browser window and this time we'll be installing the Android Studio. So click on the Android Studio link. It will take you to the Android Studio download page. On this page just click on download Android Studio. Then go through the license agreement and click on agree and then click on download android studio 
so it will start downloading just click on keep it may take some time depending on your internet speed so I'll fast forward when the download is finished I will minimize the window let me close the command prompt also let me click on the Android Studio click on yes then click on next 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 and then click on install it will take some time I will fast forward so the Android Studio has been installed successfully just click on next and then click on finish click on OK here you can choose to send user statistics to Google or not then click on next here you can customize your installation but I will go with the standard installation so click on next here you can select the user interface theme I will select the light one and click on next here you can see the preview of your installation just go through them and click on next here you have to accept the license agreement just click on accept and also for the second one just click on it and then click on accept and then simply click on finish so it will start downloading the components and install them subsequently this will take some time so I'll fast forward when everything is done just click on finish now we are done so welcome to Android Studio next we will click on the plugins and search for Flutter click on it and then click on install just accept the third party privacy note Flutter also requires Dart to be installed so just click on install when the installation is finished just click on restart IDE and then click on restart as you can see now we can see the new Flutter project on the welcome to Android studio window next we will open the command prompt again and type in Flutter doctor and press enter as you can see we have a green tick mark on Android Studio so Android Studio has been installed successfully next we will fix the command line tools component is missing issue so let me minimize the window and go back to Android Studio here click on more actions and click on SDK manager make sure Android SDK is selected on the left panel then click on SDK tools then check the Android SDK command line tools latest and click on apply and then click on ok it will go ahead and install the SDK component installer when the installation is done just click on finish then click on apply and ok now I will open the command prompt again and type in flutter doctor as you can see we no longer have the common line tools component issue now we'll accept the android toolchain licenses so let me copy the command and paste it and then press enter type in y and press enter y again enter so I'll accept all the licenses one by one now I'll type Flutter doctor again as you can see all the issues have been fixed except the Visual Studio so now we'll go ahead and install the Visual Studio code let me open the browser window and search for VS Code click on the first link and then click on download for Windows click on keep So 
so the download is finished let me minimize the window and also close everything now I'll click on the Visual Studio code I just downloaded click on I accept the agreement and then click on next next again next here I'll select the create a desktop icon and other options as well and then click on next and then click on install when the installation is done just click on finish as you can see the visual studio code has been installed successfully next i'll go to the extension tab and search for flutter select the flutter extension and then click on install next i'll search for dart plugin as you can see it has been installed automatically so let's go back to the file explorer now i'll create a new project folder on my desktop I'll call it fast project now I'll open the folder inside VS code let me select the folder now it is asking whether I trust the authors of the files in this folder so I'll check the trust the author of the files and then click on yes Now I'll open a terminal in VS Code and then type in flutter create and the name of my project which is hello app. And press enter. So it will go ahead and create the project. Next we'll go inside the project directory so type in cd and the directory name now we'll run the project by typing flutter run and press enter now it is asking me to select a device i'll go with the chrome browser so i'll just type 2 and press enter now it will go ahead and compile and run our flutter app As you can see the hello app has been launched successfully. If we click on the plus button, the number of times we clicked will increase. So our hello app is working properly. So let me go back to the VS code. So this is our main project file. All the code for this project is written in this file. We'll learn more about it when we start building our own applications. Let me minimize the window and also close the app. Now I'll show how we can create a Flutter app using Android Studio. So let me click on start menu and click on Android Studio. Then click on new Flutter project. Make sure Flutter is selected on the left panel and then select the Flutter SDK path. It's on the C drive. So I'll select the Flutter, this Flutter and then click on ok now just click on next then give your project a name i'll simply name it to new app and then just click on finish so it will go ahead and start creating a new flutter project this might take some time if you are running it for the first time let me maximize the window as you can see this is our new app flutter project and this is our main.dart file now if i click on run it will not work since there is no device attached let me click on ok now i'll go to device manager and click on create device from this window i'll select pixel 4 and then click on next 
now i'll download a system image let me quickly do that you can download any of them it will take some time so i'll fast forward when the download and installation is completed just click on finish now on this window just click on next here we can rename the android virtual device name but i'll leave it as it is then i'll click on show advanced settings i'll quickly go through them let's increase the internal storage and also the sd card storage i will allocate 4 gb for each of them then i will simply click on finish as you can see our virtual device has been created now if i click on this play button the virtual device will show up on bottom right as you can see the device is booting up let me also accept the kotlin code style as you can see the virtual device is up and running and you can navigate through it using your mouse now if you click on the selected device it will show up all the available devices from here you can select any of the devices you want your flutter project to run on i'll just select the pixel 4 now if i click on run it will go ahead and compile and run our new app project this will take quite some time since this is the first time i am running it as you can see our flutter app is running in the virtual device let me minimize the window and quickly zoom in the device screen so this is our new app and if we click on the plus button the counter will increase so the app is running properly now i'll click on the gear icon and change the view mode to float so our virtual device will float on top of the android studio now i can zoom in and i can also maximize the window so that i can see it on a bigger screen let's click on the plus button to see if everything is working fine as you can see we have successfully configured android studio for flutter development now if you want to run a flutter project from vs code on a virtual device you can do so by clicking on sdk device and then selecting the device you want to run your flutter project on let me select the pixel 4 api as you can see the device sdk has been changed as well then i will quickly go to home page on my virtual device now if we type in flutter run in the vs code terminal it will start compiling again let me rearrange the windows As you can see our flutter project from vs code is also running on a virtual device if i press the plus button the counter will increase as usual so you can start developing flutter project using either vs code or android studio according to your preference let me quickly close the windows so this is how you can install flutter on windows operating system thanks for watching see you in the next one bye